Today's the day. Family's there, my work is there, and I need money to get there. So, uh, how do you plan to get to this Bristol, England? Well, therein lies the problem. I can't go by ship because the Mafia really wants to get me. My past hasn't been very good. But this is also where you come in. I found a way. Air travel. The hot air balloon just came out. And I was wondering... If I could have you help me pay for that. So, uh, how much is this hot air balloon to speak of? Well, this is where you come in. I don't know. Okay, so, um, uh, do you even know how to fly this hot air balloon or how it runs exactly? No, not really. Then what in the name of vodka are you doing here? Get out! But. Okay. Thank you. Wait. Come back, my friend. I think I can help you. I have a friend, he is a... He's monk, but he is very, very intelligent in the guesses. He lives in a mountainous area not too far from here. Talk to him. I think he can help you. my trip and I can't uh, see my family. Just tell me I'm making an air balloon. How do it work? Tell me how an air balloon works. We're all gonna leave. Just... Why do you done need to learn how to make yourself an air balloon? Uh, banker, you won't fund my voyage to England. And then I can't... Just, just teach me. How do you... You ain't learned about this yet, partner? No. Who does? Uh, it's pretty simple science, so, well, there, there's this law out there, it's called the Combined Gas Law. And this law is basically where you mix gay Lusacs, Boyles, and Charles Laws together. And it forms one giant gas law that solves almost everything. And once you get this law, you should be able to build a hot air balloon and be sailing happily. Under the first law, the Combined Gas Law, you need to know the pressure, the volume, and the temperature for this. And so the law basically states that the first pressure times the first volume over the first temperature is equal to the second pressure times the second volume over the second temperature. And so when you increase the temperature and increase the pressure, you'll find out that the balloon gets less dense and it will cause it to float. So the second gas law is the ideal gas law. And that gas law consists of the pressure, the volume, the number of moles, the temperature, and Planck's constant. So the actual law is the pressure times the volume is equal to the number of moles times the temperature times Planck's constant. And this law just helps to show you that a, it teaches you how something that is hotter than something that is cooler is less dense and therefore will rise, which you obviously need to take into account for your hot air balloon. I didn't really understand what he was talking about. I mean, come on. He's like a monk living in the mountains by himself. And he has a white shirt on. I mean, come on. But besides that, I learned two things. Actually, I learned two laws. There was the combined gas law and the ideal gas law. The combined gas law was like a mix of a bunch of different laws. But they all kind of meant that 
The burner actually changed the air pressure within the envelope or the big balloon. It showed the correlation between pressure, volume, and temperature. I then learned about the ideal gas law, which was pressure times volume equals the number of moles times Kleenex constant times the temperature. I then could learn the density of the air outside the balloon and inside the balloon. In my investigation, I found that the burner was actually creating a lower density with inside the balloon than outside the balloon. This gave the balloon the ability to rise, because it was less dense than the air around it. From what he told me, it would be around $45,109.02. And with 2,545 gallons of propane gas with wind speeds of 42 miles per hour, I could get to England in 3.5 days. But then the monk did something really weird. Shalom, partner. I have the information. Your information looks correct to me. I had a feeling that she would be coming back. Here is your money. Temperature is increasing, and that means that there's a lower density in the air in the balloon in the outside. That makes sense. So my air is going to be like... Yeah. And then we're going... And then... Yeah, and then there's sharks. Okay, yeah, there's sharks. I see it! I see it!